everyone and welcome to Season 4, Episode 2 of From Hope to Glory at Truro City with me, the United City FM. Welcome along. So, early season form has been phenomenal. Uh, we have picked up another quite long-term injury, which is a real problem. But other than that, today is all about the game against Hartlepool in the Vanarama National League. Let's see how we get on. Oh, I wasn't kidding when I suggested that the form in the early part of the season had been fantastic in the league. We sit top of the table joint with Notts County, four games played, 12 points won, which means we have not lost a game so far in the Vanarama National League. We have lost one against St Mirren in the Scottish um, Trust Trophy Challenge Cup thing that we were part of. I can't say I'm that bothered about going out of that early in the season. That's fine. Um, but the rest of it. 1-0 win obviously in the last episode against Eastleigh. We played Aldershot, Dagenham and Redbridge and Ebbsfleet and got good performances out of our players against all of them. Andrew Neal being the star of the show so far, ably supported by the likes of McJanet and Wright Phillips who unfortunately is the player that we've picked up an injury to. Wright Phillips is now going to be out for the next four to six weeks with a sports hernia. Really disappointing. He'd got a really great start. Two goals in five appearances um, to his start to his Truro City career. But that's the way it works sometimes. He picks up a knock. We can't use him. But Sam Knowles, who was our first choice right-sided midfielder last season, is there to deputise. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. It's a little bit disappointing. But yeah, form has been fantastic. It puts us top of the table in the Vanarama National League. We've gone out in the Trust Trophy. We've yet to enter in things like the FA Trophy and the FA Cup. So that's all still to come. But today is all about playing Hartlepool. And if we scroll down... Hartlepool, where are they in the league? I can't find them all of a sudden. There they are, sitting in 16th position. So a good opponent for us potentially. Let's see how we get on. So with Wright Phillips out, we have had to make a change. And the change, of course, is that Knowles comes in down that right-hand side. Uh, we do have the other injured player. Obviously, Charlie Ball is still out. Two to five weeks still for him as well. So those two players are going to be out for a little while. Fortunately, I think we've got the squad to cope with it just about. So um, at this point, everybody else is fit. And you can see that most players other than Duke McKenna have had some action. Uh, Saxon Early also have had some action in and around what we've been doing so far this season. Um, and for today's match, we've gone with Roberts in goal, Rogers at right back, uh, Dunlan at left back, Kazoo and Whitmore in central defence. Bukok, Mundell in central midfield, with Knowles on the right, D'Souza on the left, McJanet and Neil up top, and a bench of Stavrou, Casey, Silla, Salam and Horsewood. So let's get into today's game and see what happens. So for the team talk, I've simply gone, give the fans a performance they're hoping for today, really impress them. Put the players on the front foot, hopefully, and see how we get on in this particular match. The 4-4-2 system seems to be working pretty well so far this season. Um, and it's an early corner kick for Hartlepool. And we get a good clearance. And Knowles, on the top of the penalty box, picks up the loose ball, passes it onto McJanet. McJanet cuts in past the defender, onto goal. And he puts it, tries to chip it over the goalkeeper. And the goalkeeper stands up well and stops the ball. And they get it cleared. Again, with a, a chance down the right-hand side from a throw-in. In, and it's Rogers with the deep cross to Neil at the uh, near post as we look at it. And he, again, has been on absolute fire this season so far. That's about his fourth or fifth goal so far this season in the five or six games that we've played. And he's been brilliant so far. Every time you think maybe we've just moved on past him a little bit in terms of what his attributes suggest that he can achieve, 
he pops up with a goal, which is phenomenal. And again, a good cross on that right-hand side from Rogers, uh, providing some good uh, form down on that right-hand fullback position, something that we've been lacking so far this series. So that's really positive. And Rogers on the ball again. Bukok goes over the top to McJanet, but the defender wins out and then boots it clear. Again, we boot it clear, but Neil gets the header on that occasion. Uh, passes off to D'Souza and at the back post, McJanet with his header gets a chance to put the ball in the back of the net. And the superstar from our friendlies has just been a little bit wayward with his chances so far this season, but he's still got a goal or two. And he's looking okay in terms of what he offers the, the team. But just need him to get his confidence up a little bit in front of goal. And then he'll go on a bit of a run, I hope. But it's okay, whilst Neil has been in the form that he has. And we've still got ball to come back. Another corner kick uh, from Hartlepool. And this time it goes over the top of the bar for a goal kick. Doesn't trouble the goalkeeper um, too much at all. And it's been fairly even in terms of they've created some chances. But we put hours away. And at 40 minutes, we've got five minutes or so to get through to half time with a 1-0 lead would be a pretty good thing that we can fight for in the second half. And we do just that. And it was a, an OK performance. 0.86 XG rating. So we're ahead of the curve on that in terms of getting our goal. Possession is a little bit low. Uh, compared to Hartlepool, but that's okay. Chances created is even, but we put a couple more on target and got the goal, which is really important. So I think we can be reasonably happy, but we need to keep them on edge a little bit. So we're going to go with the assistant. We're just going to say you've played well, but there's still room for improvement. And as soon as we come back out, we're going to demand more from the side just to start the second half. But it's Hartley Paul that again have the opportunity down their right hand side to carve out a chance for themselves. They move it right the way over to the left hand side. Um, and back into midfield again. They're keeping the ball very, very nicely and they've worked it right the way through. They deserve that goal. They really do. They passed it so well and it moved all of our defence around and eventually one of the, I think the left fullback moved in a little bit um, up the pitch and it left a gap behind him. Watch this area here. He comes in for the ball at that point, doesn't get anywhere near it and that opened up the space for Gibson and he blasts it home and they genuinely, I think they really deserve that goal it was fantastically well worked and we've got to get a bit sharper in terms of holding our shape and we go one all and we're going up to about the 60 minute mark the chances are few and far between in this second half we're gonna to have to do something about it 66 minutes we're gonna stop the game there and it's time to go in and change something up so rather than going the custom wing play we're gonna go route one and just bury it into those two strikers and see if we can get anything from them they're playing not too bad up top but some of the support staff are not doing great, are they really? 6.5 from both the wide men, 6.5 from both the central midfielders, a 6.3 from Whitmore. Some stuff we need to change. So what are we going to change? We're going to bring Mo Silla in for Bukok in the centre of midfield just to offer some support there. We're going to have to take one of these guys off and it's going to be D'Souza because we've got Salam on the bench. And then we can either take Dunlan out on the left-hand side, but I think we're going to take Whitmore out and put Stavru there. Uh, the Kazoo-Stavru partnership is a long-term one that has worked for us most of the time. So we've now changed into the route one and we'll just have to see how that works out for us but then we're going to go in and we're going to uh, let's encourage the team at this point and just see if the last 15 minutes or so we can carve out a couple of chances that are going to pay dividends for us. 10 minutes left though and it's gone really quiet. The, the second half has felt a little bit drab again and it looks like we're going to get a one-all draw. I'm not totally happy with that. And our winning streak comes to a bit of a crashing halt, but not in the worst way possible. We still pick up a point. But it was just a little bit uninspired, wasn't it? And this is what can happen a little bit, is that the minute you have to take a player out of a winning team, then sometimes it can just go a little bit awry for a little while. Uh, I'm sure that Knowles will pick up in terms of his form. But hopefully we'll be able to manage through to when we get ball and right Phillips back again and get this uh, team motoring in between then and now. But yeah, today, a little bit uninspiring.
So what can we actually learn from the performance? Well, first off, we created pretty much the same amount of chances to Hartlepool, put a couple of them more on target for ourselves. 1.14 XG rating, 0.53 for them. So they did well on the chances they created and we were on par with what we created. We should have created more, to be honest, at home. A couple of corners, loads more for them. Uh, passing completion is at 81%, which is decent. I like it into the early 80s at the minimum. 50-50 pretty much on possession, which again is all right. But we just didn't do enough with it. If we go in and have a look more specifically, this is our spread of shots and they are quite spread out. There's a clump here that we potentially could have and should have done something more with. A couple of saved efforts, a couple of missed efforts, etc. Um, and in terms of the, the possession itself, the action zones, you can see that we were, were dominant enough in midfield, but only just... And we should have done a little bit more. In our defensive area, we weren't particularly strong against their attackers, it felt like. Um, the spread for them is quite a, a good spread in terms of quite a spread out for their chances that they created. But fortunately for us, they didn't make many of them count at all. Nick Rogers is doing really well for us. The right fullback is doing fantastically well. Um, it's got a seven uh, average rating for the season so far, a couple of assists. But compared to what we've had in that position so far in this series... I'm really happy to have him there at right fullback. Let's just go in and check out a couple of things in more detail. So let's look at these shots and just our own ones. So we had the one goal uh, down that left-hand side of the uh, six-yard box from Andrew Neal. We had three off target. Again, a couple, uh, one from Neal and a couple from McJanet, who's not quite found his form in the league just yet, but I hope it will come fairly soon. We had four that were saved, so fair play, well done to the goalkeeper. And we had that one block shot on the edge of the box, and that was from Sam Knowles. And so you can see it was all right. We created some, but not enough, really. And the other thing to say, of course, is while we're looking through this, is I think we were right. Uh, I was right in thinking at the time. Their goal was a very, very good one. That moment of play before it to, to draw the left fullback out of position was very good. And then they just took their chance, which was great. So let's look at the passes completed, just because I don't know what you're supposed to make of it. Uh, intercepted ones. There's a few in there, but that's not too bad. A, a couple of longer balls. So probably when we transitioned into the uh, route one play, one blocked pass. Okay. These are the ones, unsuccessful ones. Don't care about these ones because that's clearing the lines, but there's some in the middle here that I just think we should be doing a little bit better with. And um, um, I also think that we're going to have to reinvigorate our uh, our set pieces as well so I'm going to do that before the next episode and see if we can get any more success from that this season out of play uh, passes again a couple of long clearance types which is okay but still I mean <laughs> who was Dunlan passing to at the, um, I'm sorry not Dunlan who was Neil passing to at this point there anyway one of those things. Passes, key passes though. This is always interesting and it compared to what we created and how many chances we got on goal. We created seven key passes and a fair few of them were in and around the box and we didn't quite make the most of them. Chances created, we had two specific. One chance created from Rogers and one chance created from D'Souza. So again, not quite good enough, was it? And that's where we were, really. We were just not quite accurate, accurate enough in and around the box, really. We didn't, create, uh, we didn't create enough. And what we did create, we didn't put away. And it's kind of that simple today. Bit of a dull performance. But still, we managed to pick up a point, which is not the worst thing in the world. So we're just going to say, uh, with no gesture at all, you weren't good enough. That's the sort of game we should be winning. That motivates them mostly. Mundell is uh, demotivated, by it, demotivated by it, but okay, what can you do? And so we just go back in and we'll check out what that's done to the league table. And then we still find ourselves on top, which is good. And we've played a game extra than Scunthorpe now sitting in second place. So Notts County and us are still even on 13 points after five games. So we haven't lost a ground on anybody, which is really positive at this point. And so that bodes well moving forward.
So after some very, very good early form in this particular season, you can see a couple of blips beginning to enter there. Got to cut that out if we can through the next few games. We're going to play through most of November and come back for the Boston United game, but that might change depending on how well we do in the FA Trophy there. Often ro uh, moves the fixtures around a little bit for the month of November. So at the moment, it's going to be Boston. It might come back and be someone slightly different than that, but somewhere at the end of November, will come back between then and now we've got the likes of Chorley, Leighton Orient, York, Torquay, Dover, Sutton and hopefully there's some winnable games in there to keep these green um, dots uh, prevalent through the season. I was a little bit disappointed by today's performance but in the big picture of things it's going to happen we're still uh, a developing side and we're still going to be inconsistent here and there we still got a good point though and we still maintain that top league position so that's fantastic so hopefully you'll join me for the next episode to see how we've done through November see if we can get through a couple of rounds of the FA Trophy as well and hopefully come back for Boston United or someone similar in the Vanarama National League that's going to do it for today though disappointing result but good overall and we keep marching on can we start talking about a title no not yet we can't but a playoff position i think we're in a really good uh, spot for it and who knows where the rest of this season is going to lead us thank you for joining me today subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join my united city community the more the merrier click that like button for me helps me get seen by lots of other people shows me that you're connected to the content which is really encouraging for me so do that for me if you could until next time though take care of yourselves i'll see you very soon bye for now